Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video today I'm back with another PSGL League race today at round number 7 for the Canadian Grand Prix for the F3 Championship and this is my qualifying lap. It's a one shot quality because this was straight after the actual Canadian Grand Prix so obviously we didn't have time to start a proper quality. So we had one shot and it was heavy rain conditions. Luckily I did have a wet setup so that was a little bit of a safety net. But you can see bumping the wall ever so slightly. Obviously Normally I practice and do quite a few laps on time trial before an actual league race, but because of the actual race, I couldn't, so it was straight into one-shot quality and heavy rain, which wasn't too easy. But overall, it wasn't actually that bad a lap. Quite a few people were retiring or just cutting corners, which is something I kind of always expect from one-shot quality. But if you look at my steering wheel, you can see I think that's a second place. It's very hard to see with my preview screen, but coming down the main straight, the final corner was pretty much going to make or break me because this was actually a fairly decent lap. I didn't obviously didn't know how close I was too fast, but I could actually get pole position in F3. But coming through the final corner has been fairly decent. Running up to the line, obviously no DRS. But running up to the line, we're just keeping an eye on the screen and AMS takes pole position. We take second place, which is actually my best qualifying position of the season, which I was very happy with. Um heavy rain and one shot quality getting second place so AMS gets pole position we start second you know me in third Ash best fourth Sao Paulo in fifth Fraggle Pool qualifies sixth Johan seventh Ashley starts in eighth Kurt Toys ninth and Blue Mosquito rounds out the top ten for the Canadian Grand Prix We're moving on to the formation lap I decided to start on the ultra soft tyre I I had to think about it and obviously I didn't know what people around me were starting on but I wanted to be on the fast tyre at the end because it's no matter what you do, it's a one stop. That is the quickest strategy around here. So I decided to go on the quicker tyre at the start just to hopefully challenge AMS because I, I assumed he was going on the faster tyre. He was incredibly quicker on his track and I think this was his favourite track which showed in his pace. He was absolutely flying. So I decided to start on the ultra soft tyre and I was going to uh, pit on around about lap 10 to fit the soft tyre and go to the end. I was kind of hoping I could get a good start and maybe challenge into the first corner. But here we go, we have three lights, four lights, five lights. And as lights out and away we go and the start is looking fantastic. Get an amazing run off the line with side by side and actually ahead of AMS. Round the outside of turn one, can we just get the inside line for turn two? We have the inside line but can we get the traction, a little bit of contact, but AMS gets the run out of turn two. And it was a really good start, but I just didn't have the momentum to carry around the outside or up the inside. So we fall into second place, but hopefully we can just stay onto the back of AMS until the DRS. So we can just, st obviously we're on the same strategy. You know me behind on the soft tyre, so we need to watch out for him. Hopefully me and AMS can just tow each other and uh, pull a gap on third position. I knew you know me was quicker than me, so I was just hoping that a podium, I'd, I'd be happy with a podium. We're coming on to lap number four, you can see AMS absolutely flying we've lost DRS on him and now you know me is challenging us and I decide I'm just gonna let him through I'm not gonna battle him whatsoever because I'll just lose too much time obviously with you know me behind me on I mean he was staying with me on the soft tire so I decided I'm just gonna settle for third position keep him to the outside into the final corner and we let him through I was kind of hoping I could just get a little bit of DRS and increase the gap uh, to Ash Best Obviously, he was on the soft tyre as well, so I need to watch out for him. But yeah, I, w I would have just lost too much time if I was battling, you know me. But you can see, our plans actually worked quite well. Let's come on to lap number 8. We are still within DRS of you know me, and he is dragging us down this straight. And we're actually getting quite a bit of time on Ash Best. I'm not sure if he was battling with someone or not, but we were just... I mean, obviously, the slipstream on DRS is OP in this game. And I think that was what was just giving us that advantage. DRS down both straights and the slipstream just gaining us so much time as we come on to lap number 9 now on to lap number 11 and AMS has come into the pit to fit the soft tyre obviously he's miles out in front and I wasn't racing him but that was just a sign that it was time to pit and that's exactly what I do uh, saying to my engineer box this lap and coming on to the end of lap number 12 into the pit we go to fit the soft tyre and obviously our final stint checking the penalties for Ash Bears obviously I thought uh, I was racing him so I saw he had a three second penalty at this stage I think I had a nine second penalty 
just like an F6, I was not good with the penalties, I mean, or just corner cutting in general. I just couldn't get into a rhythm around this track and it seems I, I really struggle with penalties so I might actually lose third place thanks to penalties if I don't pick up the pace. We come out in 8th position behind RDO, now 7th place thanks to pit stops. Coming to the hairpin we are right behind McLaren. He runs wide and I feel like he was, I, I don't know if he was letting me through or just getting a better run down the straight. We're side by side and we're going to have DRS to help us and we should have the inside line for the final corner. Obviously I don't think RDO has pit yet. So I was hoping he, he wouldn't fight me too much and he doesn't really put up that much of a fight. Into the line for the final corner and straight up into sixth place. Now can we chase down Ash Bess who sits in fifth position and also hasn't pit yet. So we're on fresh soft tyres against old soft tyres. Coming to the head and once again it looks like it might be an identical overtake. He doesn't run wide but unlike our move on RDO. We're going to have Slipstream and DRS to help us, so it should be an even easier overtake, although it looks like he is going to go defensive. We're just waiting for the DRS and the Slipstream to kick in, and now you can see the closing speed. Going to the outside, and that is up into fifth place. And it seemed like once I got onto the soft tyres and actually was overtaking people, I found a rhythm and stopped cutting corners for a little bit. I mean, it didn't last too long, but for a little bit I wasn't cutting any corners and I was putting in some very decent lap times. Coming on to lap number 20, Ashley comes into the pit and we are back up into third place. I think Fraggle uh, pit as well. So that promoted us to fourth place and then third place thanks to Ashley pitting. So we've retaken third place, now it's all down to penalties. And now we're waiting for Unomi to pit, which he does on the next lap. But this is two laps after he's pit, he's on the ultra soft tyre and is absolutely flying for the final few laps. You can see he's right into the back of me and once again, I'm not going to put up any fun, I'm going to keep to the outside, let him through. Because I would just lose too much time and I might even lose third place thanks to penalties if I battled him. Obviously, I didn't expect him to have 9 seconds worth of penalties, so there's no point fighting him. I wasn't quick enough for second place on this track, as I said at the start. But getting a little bit of DRS from Unomi by the looks of it, uh, down the straight. So that's going to assist us in increasing that gap once again. So it seems we've gone full circle through this race. I mean, qualifying second and using Yonomi twice on both since to uh, just increase the gap to fourth position. But after that, not a lot really happened. RDO made his way into fourth position. We remained in third and just lost time to Yonomi. Coming down the main straight for the final time, this is lap number 35. And yeah, a fairly boring uh, stint after the overtakes. AMS takes the win at the Canadian Grand Prix. We come through the final corner. Yonomi is going to take second. And we cross the line, but are we going to get a third? So we're going to have to keep an eye on the top left. And I think we're going to go on board of RDO as he comes through the final corner. Keep an eye on that top left. Is it going to say third place for RDO? As he comes up to the line, it doesn't. We hold on to that final podium spot at the Canadian Grand Prix. And here are the full race results. AMS hits the win. You know me second. We take third. RDO 4th, Ashley in 5th, Lorraine 6th, Fadugi in 7th, Kurtois 8th, Craig 9th and Yarham takes the final point. But here are the standings at the end of the Canadian Grand Prix. AMS leads on 59 points, if you know me in 2nd on 48. We sit in 7th position with a 10th place finish, 2 podiums in a row for us. And 3rd time this season, so we sit on 35 points, 10 points ahead of Fraggle who I think got disqualified in the Canadian Grand Prix. So I don't really know what my aim is this season. Obviously with Zalan going to F1, he is out of the picture. So technically we are in sixth. And I suspect by the end of the season, hopefully I'll be ahead of Zalan. So I don't know. I'm going to say, I'm going to challenge myself and go top five is my goal. I reckon if I can keep this consistency, I should be able to get top five. So we'll have to wait and see. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, remember to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you guys for watching. And see ya.